Okay, so this guide shows you how to disable the touchpad on virtually any laptop. Now, you might want to disable the touchpad if you're using an external mouse. Um, what I would say first of all is to have a look in your mouse settings on your laptop to see if there's any way of disabling the touchpad if you're using an external mouse before trying this method. So what you do is you'd click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and just type on your keyboard touchpad and then under best match touchpad settings will come up. Okay, and just have a look in here to see if there is anything that says about disabling the uh, touchpad when a, a mouse is actually uh, attached to the system. If there's nothing here, you could click on additional settings just on the right here and just see if there's anything there. As you can see on mine, I've got disable internal pointing device when an external USB pointing device is attached. So if you've got a mouse attached at any time and you've ticked that box, it will disable the touchpad on the laptop. So uh, all you do is you click on apply and then OK and then close down the, uh, the, the window here and uh, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, not all laptops do have this function on them. So this is the purpose of this guide. It's to show you how to uh, do this if your laptop doesn't have that option on it. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now at this point, make sure that you're, you've got your external mouse handy, but it's not plugged in. So leave it unplugged at this moment in time. So I've clicked on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm just gonna type in there device space manager. Okay, and once we've typed device space manager, hopefully after a few seconds under best match will appear device manager control panel. So move your mouse over that, left click once. Then after a few seconds, you should see the device manager appear. Now go down this list and find mice and other pointing devices and just click on the arrow pointing to the right, just to the left of it. Okay, and then when you put, click on that, you should see your current mouse. So make a note of whatever that says there once you've made a note of it, then plug in your external mouse or the receiver for the external mouse, if it's a wireless mouse, and you should see another mouse appear. So now we can disable the original mouse that was in the system. So I hope you made a note of it. So mine was this Synaptics SM bus touchpad. So I right click on that now, okay? And then you get this little menu appear go down to properties, highlight properties and left click. Then move your mouse up to the driver tab, just at the top of the screen there, left click once. And then hopefully on yours, you should have disable device. So click on disable device. It will ask you, are you sure you want to disable the device? Say yes to it. And then hopefully the internal touchpad will then stop working. To get it back, you just do the same thing, but it'll actually have on there enable device. Now mine doesn't give me the facility to disable the device on there. I guess the reason for that is probably because I can do that in the control panel, I can disable it. Now, if you haven't got that option in your uh, control panel to disable the device and you haven't got it here either, then have a look on the keys on your keyboard, the, the, the top row of keys, the F keys, one of those might actually allow you to disable the touchpad. I've also seen if you touch certain areas of the touchpad, like the top right hand corner and double tap it, it can also disable the touchpad. But um, you might have to refer back to any manuals that you got with your computer or any online manuals for your computer to see if there is any way or contact the manufacturer of your laptop to see if there is any way of disabling it. But failing that, you just might have to put up with it. 
So, but hopefully this guide may well give you a way of disabling your touchpad. Hope this guide helps and thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.